hi i will actually show you how this is environment this is a barn tree this is a barn tree and this is a himalayan mulberry see yellow color mulberry is there this one this one but now what we have done due to the development all this hill has been cut and most of the ecosystem is gone and we are only seeing cemented walls and walls and car parking i will show you how the natural beauty is this is a beautiful yellow flower also has a medicinal value and there are various herbs plants natural herbs things that we need in our daily life here but development is all being cut off question thing this is a barn tree cut here we don't know how it survives or whatever but see its leaves are drying it has a nourishment problem obviously that too in a monsoon season that means there is obviously some trouble the plant is suffering it's in a stress plants also come in a stress sometimes because of such things root of the plant is exposed and the tree is there obviously it will be in a stress it's like a part of our limb is open and cut and it's bleeding so things are like that this is also being cut for road widening i fail to understand how much will road widening we will do cars 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 have destroyed the entire habitat again you are digging the trees senselessly beautiful ferns everything all gone which i don't know children what beauty they will be seeing or observing this forests have a lot of uh, uh natural beauty here I, with grasses wild turmeric uh leaves of barn which can be used to cure Uh, leg sprains etc and uh, uh then there is wild himalayan mulberries which are very good for boosting immunity then there are other herbs grasses natural flora and fauna and there are small small pathways that go up which are called pagdandis people sometimes take we as a child used to take them and these are something very beautiful which used to be there Now most of them are being broken down. Something see such a beautiful grasses. Even after growing, they are difficult that they can be grown again. It's a bird. Fun and small retaining wall for the school. The trees are protected. I don't know how long this will all survive. I think is this is beauty. These kind of grasses grow year long perennially. That's it. This is the thing we should doing and growing and doing that. So this is Himalayan mulberry. I will show you. Children used to eat it. I also used to eat. One 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 where is it where is it, where is it? here here. Ah, yummy. Oh. Ah. Beautiful. There used to be a lot of uh, wild turmeric here which has several medicinal properties. So most of them has been broken down and cut. Maybe in the jungle it has some they will be there. So most of them is not there. again this has been broken down for senselessly for senseless parking this tree i don't know what kind of development model we are doing but it's strange there are used to small small roads walking pathways which used to go from here to here now we have these roads which go long distance and then turn they're all motorable we are making cities for the cars 
we're not making cities for walking people walking people then we create footpaths which are not the conducive thing on how to develop a, a hill ecosystem these are the pathways natural pagdandis which go here and they are shortcuts now we have destroyed all of them and if you can see ahead most of them have been broken down and if you see the cost benefit not much cost benefit is coming around it but i'm showing you this video so that you can enjoy you can feel the nature you never know uh, since till when it won't more be here i'm trying my best but i have my limitations whatever i can i can at least at least document this is near chote shimla navbar in shimla city you can see this was much beautiful i can see the difference from 20 years back when i was small and now don't know next 20 years what will be the future like but it's sad it's grim situation but and i think the one of the main reason this is happening is our own economy is today dependent on the market based system you know there is a little this plant you know this will cure whatever disease it wants people won't buy it people won't appreciate it since nature is giving it free people will only appreciate it when it comes as a product in the market and people get a chance to buy it because we have lost connection with the nature we have lost the interrelated dependency that we used to have with the nature we have lost the system of living we are living in a market based economy and that market based economy is very industrial like something growing in one part of the world is giving it to the other part it's a very mass production economy which is good thing uh, to that extent it's a human progress but for economy but what is economy when the world doesn't go this will happen there was a very beautiful path here it's gone and since lessly we are just growing 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 and but for what we are earning money and then spending it for health spending it for happiness and spending it for fulfillment money brings happiness it's good money is very important but question is can we survive without nature obviously not human beings have been evolved uh, through years uh, so many years to live on planet earth we cannot survive anywhere else experiments are going on by nasa and different uh, space agencies in microgravity space and everywhere it has been found it affects human body in very adverse and different ways we have to find ways to live with nature if we don't we won't be surviving much and that's very important uh so we are here you can see Ah. Hope this is for the future generation. Thank you.